WWE Crown Jewel is quickly approaching. It is right around the corner. So far, here are the matches that we know of. We've got an undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. Roman Reigns will be defending against L.A. Knight. World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Seth Rollins takes on Drew McIntyre. Oh, this is a... I'm, I'm reading it right now. This is an interesting one. Women's World Championship, Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax versus Shayna Baszler versus Raquel Rodriguez versus Zoe Stark. And last but not least, the US Championship is on the line as Rey Mysterio defends against Logan Paul, good old LP. Now, I couldn't help but notice that John Cena is not on this card. And as of right now, nothing has formally been announced, but my Austin's theory, my theory is that John Cena might be teaming up with Jey Uso to fight against part of the bloodline, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. And if that doesn't happen at Crown Jewel, it might happen at Survivor Series. To me, Jey Uso seems like the obvious choice as John Cena's tag team partner. But what if what if Jey Uso does not team with John Cena? What if we see John Boy teaming with somebody else? But first, a quick history lesson. Since Cena came back to the WWE, he's really been feuding with the bloodline pretty heavy. And it's pretty much only been in tag team action that we've seen Cena, get it? We've seen Cena, <laughs> taking on the bloodline. First, Cena teamed with AJ Styles, AJ got his ass kicked. Then we saw Cena team with LA Knight. Obviously, that's not going to happen again because LA Knight has a match. So where do we go from here if it's not Jey Uso? My predictions are thus. If it's not Jey Uso, my brain goes to a fellow Samoan who happens to be a Hollywood compadre of John Cena, could he be teaming with The Rock at some point in the future? The reason why my, my brain was thinking about this was, well, obviously one, because The Rock came back to SmackDown and hasn't really done anything yet, and it might be kind of a cool way to incorporate him into this Bloodline storyline. But besides that, not sure if you've noticed, but Cena has been talking about his history and his relationship with The Rock kind of a lot, both on SmackDown and pretty much every chance that he can during interviews. It seems like people are coincidentally asking him about his friendship with The Rock. And there was a moment where there was a lot of bad vibes between us. It was almost at the cost of our friendship which I would like to say now is in a really good place. Maybe it's not a coincidence. Maybe it's to build a story. I don't know, but I do know that I would love to see John Cena and The Rock team up one more time. It's been a hot minute since we've seen DJ and John Cena actually team up together. The last time they teamed up, it was Survivor Series 2011. Do y'all remember this? It was, it was a match, let me tell you. And how fitting would it be if at Survivor Series 2023, John Cena needed a tag team partner to take on the bloodline and what if it happened to be The Rock? I'm, I don't know. Just throwing it out there in the universe, I'd like to see it happen. Would you? I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would. It would be really cool. I'm just fantasy booking, but that's my theory. And this is gonna sound like an understatement, but I have never seen John Cena as a tag team wrestler. So this is a really nice change of pace. In my opinion, we're getting a lot of tag team Cena and I'm not complaining. I like it, it's, it's something new, it's fresh. That's what we're all about here in the WWE, changing it up having fun moments. And this has been a fun run to watch for, for John Boy, for our buddy, John Cena. And if it's not The Rock, this is my second fun little theory that it might happen, it might not, most likely not, but it's still fun to talk about. We've been awaiting the return of a certain snake species that's been missing from the WWE for quite a while now. It's a very dangerous, species. It's not quite a rattlesnake. It's more like a, a viper. That's my 
That's my snake sound effect. Did you like it? What if at some point in the future to take on the bloodline, we see a returning Viper named Randy Orton come back to the WWE to help his longtime buddy slash rival slash friend slash amigo. What if he comes back to help John Cena? Again, it's just the fan in me, fantasy booking, but I'm just saying, I think that if anybody's gonna defeat the Bloodline, it's gonna be Randy Orton and John Cena. If I'm not mistaken, the last time these two teamed together was on Raw when they took on the entire Raw roster. If I want somebody to have my back, if I'm John Cena and I need somebody to have my back, it might be Randy Orton. We took out the entire Raw roster together. Might not be so bad to take out the Bloodline if we have to. Again, do I know? that this is gonna happen? Of course not. I have no idea. I don't know if The Rock's gonna come back. I don't know if Randy Orton's gonna come back. I don't know if John Cena's gonna have a match at Crown Jewel. But I mean, come on. Isn't it fun to fantasy book? Not only would it be cool to see John Cena defeat the Bloodline, it might be kind of cool to see John Boy win the tag titles one more time. Crazier things have happened if Cena were to team up with Jey Uso or The Rock or Randy Orton, all unlikely tag team partners. But every time Cena has won the tag team championships, he's won the titles with some pretty unlikely partners. I got a list right here. He won the tag titles with Shawn Michaels. Uh, that was when they were in the middle of a feud. Then somehow he won the tag titles with David Otunga. And he won the tag titles with The Miz. I also see Dave Batista on this list. So yeah, like I said, uh, crazier things have happened in the WWE. So you never know. Have you been enjoying WWE as much as I have lately? I'd love to know in the comments, and I'd also love to know if John Cena needs a tag team partner and it's not Jey Uso, who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be The Rock? Is it gonna be Randy Orton? Is John Cena gonna take on the entire bloodline by himself and turn into Super Cena like he did when it was, what was it, 2010 and he fought Nexus and completely destroyed them? I'd love to hear what you think. Hmm. Ball is in your court. How about that? How about that? HBD? How about... Yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me today. Just a fun little video talking about whether or not John Cena is gonna be teaming with some fun folks. Some fun folks. What, what am I? What am I talking about? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Say goodbye to the people. He's not really talkative tonight.